The Virgin brand isn't slowing down anytime soon. The billionaire founder of Virgin Group, Sir Richard Branson, has tackled everything from music to airlines to even space, but not hotels, until now. This hotel is a, is a new baby for us, and uh, a lot of people have put their heart and soul into it, and, and I think I'm very proud of what they've, they've created. But the new venture hasn't come without challenges. Virgin Chicago Hotel opened a year behind schedule, and the company's original plan to have over 20 hotels by 2017 has been trimmed to three. What's been the delay? We thought that uh, with the, uh, the, cr the financial crash that um, there would be lots of properties at great prices that we'd be able to pick up and, and that we'd be able to expand very quickly. We found it much more difficult getting property than we thought. Now we're actually beginning to find that we are getting quite a, quite a number of really good properties coming. You know, we can, we can expand you know, much more at, at the rate that we were proposing back then now. One demographic Virgin is looking to capitalize on? Women, who account for half of all business travelers. Quite a nice little touch we have in all the rooms uh, is that if you're a, a lady and uh, you're in a state of undress and, and room service you know, delivers your food, you can close the door. Uh, would you mind just leaving the food there, please? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. They've gone, right? You can come oh. out with them and go and get your food. Whoop. <laughs> Virgin is looking to stand out from its many competitors in downtown Chicago. We're used to competition. We're in, we're in an area with a lot of hotels. We've got, to, we've got to be as good or better than them, and I think we can do that. So I think we'll get a lot of people from Chicago just coming to enjoy, enjoy the hotel. The hotel is very Virgin. Fun, swanky, and very tech forward. Big screens, easy check-in. If you wanted to order room service on your app or do something else that can control the temperature of your room, you could do that. But Virgin's average rate is just over $200 a night. And according to an STR report, that's 50% more than the average Chicago hotel room rate. The rival hotels, they'll charge you for your Wi-Fi, they'll charge you like $8 for a you know, a bottle of water. And it's, I think, just a slightly dishonest way of doing it. I think it's much, much more important just to have, you know, have a price, know that's the price you're going to end up paying, and you're not going to have lots and lots of hidden charges. Two more hotels are set to open in New York and Nashville by 2017. Why open in a state that Virgin Airlines doesn't fly to? Well, Nashville is imbued in wonderful music, uh, and that's where our, mu our, our heritage came from, was music with, Vir with Virgin Records. We built um, you know, the biggest independent record label, and we signed bands like the Sex Pistols, the Rolling Stones, uh, Genesis, lots, lots of great bands. So, um, so somehow I think Virgin and Nashville are made, are made for each other. Um, and maybe one day, once we've got the hotel going, we can get Virgin America to start flying there as well. And Virgin's rewards program could give travelers an offer no other hotels could match. Maybe get discounts going to space one day. So, um, you know, so that, that's something we're working, we're working quite hard on. And, 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 and reward schemes, they, they work. It is Virgin, after all.